Hello everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm Kaiser Acheron, the host with the voices, and welcome to... something a little different. See, I really didn't play a lot of some of the more well-known video games growing up, or things that were on other consoles like the PlayStation, or the Xbox, or even PC. So, I've got like this large catalog of games that I have never had the experience of playing. So, I think it's high time that I finally get my chance to. So, I'm going to be doing a prototype of a new series I want to do here on the channel called Kaiser's Never Played, where I take one of those games and I play them, you know, basically blind, and give my thoughts and, you know, my feelings on them. Now, I'm sure you're noticing that I have Kingdom Hearts and Uncharted, and with Kingdom Hearts, I've pretty much played all of them, save for Recoded. As for Uncharted, well, I've got the collection, and that's three games in one, so that is going to be an undertaking of its own kind. So, I figured start off simple, and let's play the short-lived Medieval Demo. Now, Medieval was a series that was on the PlayStation that came out on October 21st, 1998. It spawned a few sequels, but ultimately laid dormant for the modern era, only now getting a remake in 2019. And with the game coming up on a release soon, I figured this would be a good series to, you know, kind of test the waters with this. So let's take a look at the demo and let's see what we can find. And already, I am loving it! I love the bright, vibrant colors with the creepy aesthetic. It looks really freaking cool. I also love the skeleton boy in the front. That dude looks freaking cool. I also love that shield. Like, the black and white against the silver looks really cool. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm legitimately nervous about this because, you know, usually I have Blueberry, Stretch, Mugman, in Papyrus, Two-Ton, Metaton, one of those guys play. Oh, wait, you got a story. In the kingdom of Galomir, a Galomir. sorcerer named Zerok. Zerok. It's more like Zarok to me. Man I'm gonna call him Zarok. hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So wait, he hated so them just because they were happy? Army That's kind of fudged. And set out to take the realm for his own. So in other words, Kate's evil man wants to take over the world. Sir Daniel Fortescue. Loader cycles. In the battle, <sighs> even with a new series, those bastards ball. tend to appear. Songs are still sung. Okay, so Sir Daniel Fortescue led an army against Zarok and pretty much multitude. defeated him, from what I'm reading here. Our demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. Ooh, and very descriptive. Last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer. Dang, even on his Fortescue dying breath, he fought. It's pretty badass for this Fortescue guy. He's the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. Because, of course, whenever you're dealing with an evil villain that's magic-based or just super powerful, they've always got to come back years later to mess with the hero. It's just common knowledge at this point. So, of course, our dear sorcerer Zarok comes back from the clutches of the dead to rain his evil down upon us. I don't know what that voice was. It was an interesting thing. All right, so we've got a castle. It's a castle. Yeah, well, castle. All right, we got a bird and all these bright, vibrant colors. Seriously, this is really pretty. Like, for a game that's... Woo! Astronomy stuff. For a game that's so dark and dismal, the colors are very bright and vibrant. I dig it. It's really nice. I'm loving this cinematic feel that accompanies it. The music is very, like, lively as well. The graphics, while dark, manage to pop. All right, so there's Zarok, or Zarok. Alright, let's get a good look at the holy heck he is ugly. Yeesh! That shit. <laughs> nope. Get that thing away from me. I mean the spider, not his ugly mug. Just ugh, he looks I don't know. There's just something about him that makes me uncomfortable. I think it's the chin. The chin's pretty long. That's like Bruce Campbell chin times a thousand. Alright, so he grabs his trident. Which honestly just makes me think he's Poseidon or something like that. He can he part water too. Okay, yeah, real great sorcery there, guy. All right, it's a dark and stormy night in Galomir, as the citizens are unaware of Zaurok's evil reign of terror coming once again to threaten their lives. 
Well, then again, there's lightning that's green in the background, so, I mean, they could kind of figure this out on their own. Alright, so... Oh, okay. I guess he is about to rain death and destruction on everybody. Yep, that's pretty much what he's doing, it seems. Ooh, I don't like this one bit. Either that was one hell of a flashy warning sign, or he wanted to channel the power of Aurora Borealis really badly. Are there no guards? Like, you'd think that there'd be someone there to, like, fight him at the gate, or at the very least get his butt handed to him by Zaurik and his creepy smile. Jeez. Does he have to be... Of course, glowing eyes, too, just to really make him disgusting looking. I don't like the way this guy looks. He makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so he's got, like, this green mist type thing, and it's possessing... Oh, my God! Okay, whoever came up with the character designs for this game really wanted to hammer home the creepy aspect of it, and it fits. So, from what I'm guessing, he is possessing the inhabitants of Galomir itself. Like, stealing their souls, it seems. Alright, so he's a soul stealer. Got it. Alright, so we've got everybody coming after us. Even the... Even the kid? Really? <laughs> You're gonna give the kid a freaking battle axe or a hatchet? Come on, that's getting ridiculous. Okay, so this is the tomb of Fortescue. Got a grave dedicated to him? Watch out, Bert! Okay, so we got little, like, dead hands. Remind me of the ones from Zelda, almost. Ugh, dude, your breath stinks. Take a mint. Seriously, that's stinky. Alright, did one of those pesky imps steal your stuff? Check in with your local merchant gargoyle. Okay, I was gonna re- <laughs> Nope! Don't need that shoved in my face, okay? Okay, medieval. Alright. This is creepy, but at the same time, I like it. Hello there, jack-o'-lantern. Got gargoyle statues. We got a statue of our bony boy. I'm guessing this is Sir Daniel Fortescue. Looks pretty badass in this statue. Alright, we've got a... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I see that skeleton and he's got like the biggest, derpiest, goofy smile I've ever seen. Zans, is that you? Wait. <laughs> Just trying to imagine his hand going up and down like that from the back of the tombstone. Alright, let's see what we got in terms of controls and such. Let's see. Uh, vibration. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the inverted look because that will mess with me something fierce. Alright, let's start a fresh game. Well, that's Killington. I love this. Have any of you guys noticed that I tend to do or play games that involve skeletons or voice characters with skeletons? I swear it's not a coincidence. I, I, I don't know. Just like skeletons, they find me. It's just a thing, I guess. Ever since Undertale, skeletons have followed me everywhere. And now I'm playing another game or dealing with another character that is a skeleton in Sir Daniel Fortescue, who is now coming back to life thanks to Zarok's magic. So this must be the war where Sir Dan became a hero. And there's Zarok on his throne, trying to be all epic and stuff, sitting on a throne. Alright, a volley of arrows flies towards the army of Galamir, and... Headshot. Wait. What the frick? Are you kidding me? So, Sir Daniel Fortescue was heralded as this great hero, pretty much just got impaled in the eye right off the bat? Seriously? <laughs> Goofball! Aww, okay. I gotta give him credit, he's adorable. Just just that one little smile with half a jaw, that, that's cute. I'll give him credit, that's adorable. He even looks cool in his armor, I like it. It has risen again. I don't you mean Sir Dan. Daniel Fortescue, see? Yep! The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. Yeah, that's a bit embarrassing there, Danny boy. And the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. Well, it is said that history is written by the winners, which is an unfortunate saying, but eh, that's life. <laughs> he doesn't even talk, he grumbles. I <laughs> love this. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Sarak and live up to the legend. So in other words, this is a story of him proving himself. Well, hopefully I can make Sir Dan the epic hero he's meant to be. 
Okay, so let's see what we got in terms of controls. Uh, left stick moves around, right stick moves all about. Okay, not bad, not bad. X jumps, uh, circle rips off his freaking arm? Okay, so I can hit people with my arm, it seems. Uh, circle, what does this do? Okay, it's a secondary attack and I throw my arm, apparently. Triangle does nothing, apparently reading you things. Out of shape after 100 years. Yeah, after a hundred years, you'd want to... Use the crypt what? to get uh, grips with your Sir, new Dan? Dan, and... uh, I, I don't know how you're going to read that book when your head was like... Dan, look forward at the pages! <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, so this dude's head goes all over the place. I see a bag of gold, I think. That you find will be added to your coin total. Okay, so that is coins. Coins are used to buy items. From the greedy merchant gargoyles. So we've got merchants to deal with that are gargoyles. Okay. What's this say? When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll nope, find an not yet. exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a room stone and place rune it stone. in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Seriously, they're everywhere today. Alright, so I need to find a rune stone. You what is that thing? Life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain Life the same bottles. magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once so again. So in other words, these are like revival when potions. Your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Okay, so essentially this is extra life for your life meter. Okay, I can get behind that. And it's refillable too, which is really damn good. Alright, what's this say? Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Okay, so secondary functions. Oh, but got it. Weapon to discover their secondary ability. Uh huh. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Okay, so some are immediate, like this boomerang thingy, and some need to be charged up. So, okay, I've got daggers. Okay, this throws a regular one. Can I get that back? Nope, it's stuck in the wall. So, just a test. Let's see what happens if I charge it. Okay, oh, it becomes three. And it costs three. Okay, so the charge like gives you like a spirit dagger type thing. Okay, I can get behind that. Okay, I found a copper shield and a sword. All right, now we're in business. What's the special for this thing? I'm getting some Legend of Zelda vibes from this. Pretty much confirmed it. Okay. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To okay. see your items or to use one. Dan, look at the book. Inventory. Stop looking away. It, Read what's in the pages, you goofball. Of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered, and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Oh, so there's a disembodied voice narrating what's on the pages. Okay, Dan, you get a pass. Alright, so let's open up my inventory. Let's see. Arm. Handy when dis- <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good pun. Small sword. Nearly blunt. Swing it hard. Will do. Throwing daggers. Throw these away- <laughs> You're pushing it, game! You're pushing it! I like you! You're pushing it, though. Okay, copper shield. Less protective plate, more of a dinner plate. I mean- Hey, at the very least, you can eat off it later. Alright, so this is the Book of Galomir. Okay, so it basically tells us all about uh, the things and things in the world. Morton the Earthworm. Okay, I don't know who you are. Hopefully, I'll meet you later. Information gargoyles. Okay, those are the gargoyles that, you know, were basically talking to us earlier. Can you imagine how boring it would be to be a sentient being, wise even, and be stuck permanently to a brick wall? No wonder these guys are grumpy. Well, I mean, if you're stuck there for all eternity, yeah, I can kind of see where you'd be a little upset. They pass the time by eavesdropping, gossiping, and badmouthing any bizarre-looking adventurers that might pass by. Well, that certainly explains why they're so rude to Sir Daniel Fortescue. Okay, got an entry on Xerox. It is said that Xerox's preoccupation with necromancy stems from an obsession to resurrect his childhood puppy. Aww! Okay, so Zarok actually has a somewhat legitimate reason to want to be evil, I guess. Let's just reflect for a moment. Isn't that just tragic? 
All this poor troubled soul has ever wanted is to command the forces of darkness, enslave mankind, and play ball one last time with dear old Mr. Snuff. Okay, I like the humor in this game. The humor gets a win from me. Wait, hold on a minute. There was another item in my inventory. Dan's helmet, weak against arrows, and everything else. Well, given it has a giant hole in it, that kind of makes sense. All right, let's equip it. Cursed, your enemies are now more dead. Uh, no. No. Not doing that. No. I don't want to do that. And I will tell you why. I have just started playing this game. I don't want the enemies to be harder on my very first playthrough. That's like a death sentence. By retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. Okay. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Ew. So the dude secretes evil magic slime? That sounds disgusting in every sense. Okay, so we are in Dan's crypt. And now we have to go to... let's see. The Graveyard! I love the little icon for Dan. Like, just, just look at me like... Hi! I ain't got no lower jaw! Let's go! <laughs> okay, so let's head to the Graveyard. Take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. I mean... Yeah, anyone would be cranky if you just woke them, like, woke up from a nap and then someone just started slashing them in the face, so I can't say I blame them too much. Okay, so we got some gold over here, that's cool. I'm not seeing anything else, though. Alright, just gotta be careful of zombies and scuttling hands. Okay, so we've got a Zamzam -Zam right over there. Alright, shield up. Okay, eat this! Alright, new book of Galomir entry unlocked. Nice. All right, what's this book have Welcome to say? Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The beautiful. The dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. Mm -hmm. And they want to do it over your dead body. Okay, uh, first of all, you undead zombies, I just woke up too, so have a little respect, all right? Second of all, if you want to do some dancing, don't you be doing it on my face. You ain't gonna get much luck out of me there. All right, here comes another one. Or not. Uh, did you just trip? Did the zombie literally just trip? Alright, that takes care of those zombies. Cool. Is there anything in here I need to worry about? Let's see, can I charge open it? Charge open it? No. Okay, so that does nothing. Alright, so there's more zombies over there. I'm gonna try and get them with the daggers this time. Alright, and slap! And slap! Alright, one more. Gotcha! Alright, that takes care of them. Oh, what's this say? All right, let's open the book. That small light following you around is a wisp. A wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, mm -hmm. well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. Given the dude only has one eye, that's enemies, greatly appreciated. You direct your ranged attacks, mm. but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. So in other words, it's a lock-on for ranged attacks, as well as a item seeker. That's pretty cool. I can get behind this. It'll make finding secrets and such a lot easier, so uh, I can approve of this. Swing! Okay, so he spins his spine when he does the spin attack? Okay, not gonna lie. That's kinda cool. Alright, take care of that. Okay, so I'm missing something, it seems. Let's backtrack a bit and... Oh, there it is. Okay, so Earth Rune. Ooh, pretty symbol. Okay, so I'm guessing that this rune goes into that hand, so let's just drop that there. Alright, got some zombies to take care of, so swing it. Okay, and swing! I do love the way he just, like, spins around using his spine. That's kind of cool. All right. Nope. Take that. No, thank you. All right. So let's grab this other rune. The Chaos Rune. Ooh. So edgy. All right. Get some coins. What do you have to say, book? Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Mm -hmm. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. 
I mean, that's kind of the idea behind the wisp, right? Uh, nope, let's switch these back. I would like to be using my Thord, please, my Thord. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything interesting here from the moment. Alright, we've got this weird misty thing, and it heals you, so good to know that that's there. Okay, so let's put the Chaos Rune on this hand, and oh god! Zombie invasion! Zombie invasion! I don't like this! Nope! Okay, let's just take care of this. Alright, charge up and swing! Alright, careful. Okay, get the shield. Ah, okay, fence, attack. Whoop! Gotcha! Okay, that took a bit more out of me than I thought. Let's go heal up at this sort of, like, healing pool. Okay, back to 100%. Let's go. Alright, got another one of these guys to deal with. And let's do it! Nope, you ain't getting past this dinner plate! Alright, there's another one over there, so let's not read the book just yet. Okay. Ah, go away! I don't like you. Right, you are gonna get the spinal spin! Yeah, spinal spin. I like calling it that. I don't know if I'll call it that consistently, but I mean, you're literally using Remember, your spine to spin around and slash people, so spinal spin. Under the gaze of an angel. Okay, that's cryptic. So does that mean I gotta smack this angel statue? Okay, it does! And that opens up a door that leads to a the object here chalice. Is the chalice. Okay. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the mm -hmm. chalice fills a little more. Okay. And what fill happens when it's the full? And then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes. Okay. To hall of heroes. Weapon. There is a chalice. So in other words, it's like permanent upgrades. Region of Galamir. Okay. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Well, I want to be a true hero. Not all enemies have souls. Killing most of the ones that do will fill the chalice, allowing you to collect it. So basically not every enemy is going to fill up the chalice. So you got to kill the ones that do. Okay, that makes sense. And that makes it more challenging to find the enemies that do open up the chalice. Got it. All right, so the gaze of an angel seems to open up gates. So maybe by turning it this way, it'll open that gate. Ooh, I was right. The smart. All right, so what's in here? Ooh, okay, a zomb zombie invasion. All right, just tank through that. And let's see, we've got money, a life bottle, lots of money. Cool. All right, so I got an extra life bottle. Nice. Okay, so let's turn the angel statue back to the chalice. So that way, when we get, you know, 100% on the chalice, we can come back to it. So, yeah. Alright, so what is this giant door? The living world lies beyond these skull gates. Skull gates? The of the Ooh. Sounds kind of metal. The stained glass demon. Stained glass demon. Okay, uh, Kiva called. They stole your concept and they're gloating about it. Okay, so let's go up because we can't go through there. Alright, let's use the spinal spin and slice some zombies! Okay, we can get the chalice now, so real quick, let's go back and get that. I don't know if we are able to do anything with the chalice since this is a demo. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but let's at least collect it. And when, if we play the full game, you know, like, we can come back and get the chalice proper when we do the full game, which would be really awesome. And if you guys want to see me play the full game, let me know in the comments below, because I am really liking this game so far. All right, I'm going to get this guy with the daggers. So, shabam! All right, is he dead? Yep, he is dead. All right, let's re-equip the sword, and let's charge it up, and spinal spin! All right, got to be careful, and spin! That really wipes them out if you get close enough. All right, let's go up here. All right, that's shopping for goods. Alright, there's a chest here, so that's nice. Oh, uh, no! Take that! I don't like you. Wait. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, we can buy throwing daggers. Not bad. Let's get a few more, just to be prepared. Alright, cool. Alright, so we got some entries in the Book of Galomir. Whoop! Nope! Nope, 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 nope. Alright, focus. Nope, turn around. Right, and dagger throw! Alright, be careful. And throw! And throw! Alright, one more! Goodbye! Nice. Alright, there's more over there, so. Ha! Take that! 
Any over here? Nope, I don't think so. Alright. Oh, there's another health pool. Nice. Okay, I'm seeing a zombie over there, so let's... Oh, gosh! Ambush! Not happening today, no siree! Spinal spin! Take that! Alright, let's get up and close and slice him! Ow! Not getting bit by him in the process, mind you. Slice! Right, one more, so let's just take him down with the daggers. Okay, focus the attack. Alright, one more. There we go. And that takes care of him. So let's open up this chest and see what comes of it. Got another copper shield. Sweet. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Why not? Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> So, in other words, what this lady is saying is if I go into the deep water, I'm gonna die. So, stay in the shallow water to stay alive. Gotcha. What do you have to say, Mr. Godwell? softly. Mm-hmm. Zerica waits beyond these gates. Okay. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. The stained glass she demon, plots right? Of purest evil. Forgotten All right. Nobody's would be wise to make themselves scared. Well, I'm Sir Daniel Fortescue, apparently, so I'm not no nobody, so let's go! Alright, and... Oh, come on! Really? Dang it. <sighs> I suppose Short Lived is the name of the game here. This is a demo, so... Yeah, it had to end sometime. I thought we'd at least get a boss battle in, but whatever. At the very least, we got a demo for this game, so that's pretty cool. Regardless, that was the medieval short-lived demo, and personally... I liked it! The combat is fairly simple, the graphics are absolutely beautiful, I love the music, and overall the aesthetic is really cool. It's haunting, but at the same time it's sort of upbeat and colorful. I could definitely see myself playing this more, and like I said, if you guys want to see me do more Kaisers Never Played, let me know in the comments below, and if you want me to continue with this game specifically, like getting the full Medieval Remake, let me know, because I would love to play this for the channel and just give my honest-to-god reactions to everything and sort of see where this goes, because this game looks like a lot of fun and I want to keep going with this. So, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below letting me know your favorite moments from this little experiment. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on so that way you know when I am traveling deep into Galamir to stop Zarok. Also, share this video around, because your continued viewership is greatly appreciated, and for something like this, trying something new, I would greatly appreciate it even more. And with that said, this has been Kaiser Akron, and I will see you guys next video. Bye bye